Okay, hello and welcome everybody. This is going to be part one of our head-to-head co-op campaign. It's going to be myself, Kazan187, versus Dragonheart, Prince of Worlds. Hello everyone. And we're going to be playing as myself, as the Saxons. And I will be playing as the Franks. And we're going to be... The idea is the plan, because obviously the Saxons and Franks are right next to each other. We're going to basically disband our settlements going into horde mode and we're going to move further as way as possible from each other obviously we will kill each other at some point but we'll set up camp elsewhere get our treaties and friendships with other people and then we'll attack yeah sounds good so let's crack on with it and start the campaign yeah and hopefully we won't have too many bugs (laughs) (laughs) and we'll do all the um if it loads up this time (laughs) yeah we, we did have one kind of attempt earlier which didn't quite go to plan but uh, we said in a previous video obviously we'll leave each other's channels oh yeah in yep. the description below and obviously we'll set up playlists on both channels so you guys can find them a lot easier some of you guys probably will be just subscribed to both of us at the moment anyways but obviously for new people please hit the sub button for dragon art and vice versa for myself yeah of course yeah sounds good so good yeah <laughs> Oh god, don't get me talking in a funny accent now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this loading takes forever. Do you, do you use an SSD or uh, just uh, like an external hard drive or anything? I've got an uh, SSD, but the only, this is what I was saying the other day. I need to get a second one because everything's on that SSD. Yeah. So I need to obviously uh, change game files and obviously game downloads onto one disc and then uh, Windows etc and we have a rubbish onto another one on one disk drive. Yeah. I think that's that's the only thing that's slowing me down at the moment. Yeah, I need to get an SSD. I'm doing all of this off external hard drives and my actual hard drive. But I haven't really had a chance to sort my PC out since all the stuff that happened with it. (laughs) Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm thinking of getting, I think they're called Barracudas or Seagates. It's like a terabyte hard drive. I was going to get one of them, put obviously all my computer game stuff and recording stuff onto um, onto that and then have my normal SSD for the iOS and Windows and that kind of jazz. Yeah. Is it loading up for you? Because it's loaded up for me at the moment. Yeah, it says I was waiting for the other player to finish loading. Okay, so it's just the uh, beginning sequence. Obviously, I'll leave it on for everyone to watch. Yeah. I skipped past mine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Trolled in you already. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's just the same intro that you get at the yeah, start. Yeah, it's to skip that because it's only the Barbarian one. So you'll find that they all have the same thing. Yeah. So is it? Is this is your turn now? Is it, yeah, tomorrow? it's my yeah, turn. Okay, oh, okay cool. Right, what have I got? The Raiders of the Roving Seas? What the hell? Let's move them. Move them down south. Oh, I know where I'm going. I'm going to take out some Roman lands. And then the Howling Fists can move across here. Yeah, don't forget, because I, when I started Franks early on live stream, I forgot you actually get a fleet. You obviously get the army at Flevum, and there's one actually from on the south, which is near the Roman borders. Yeah. <laughs> like a smaller contingent, and I was like, literally within five turns, I was like, oh shit, there's one there. <laughs> completely, <laughs> completely didn't notice him sitting there. Yeah, I'm just going to check all my forces. I think, yeah, I found them all. And I'm going to be attacking Rome straight away. I'm going to rename my settlement first. I'm going to obviously leave it eventually, but can we leave it straight away? You don't, have to, you don't have to straight away, it's fine. Should we have a one turn each with our settlement? To yeah. Get, to get whatever income we can? Cause yeah, yeah, get it and then we can move then, can't we? So it gives, a bit, gives us a bit more opportunity to do stuff. Because you got to think, for myself, I've got the fleet unit near... Well, it's an army, but I've got them near Rome as well. Yeah. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with them guys and with my settlement. Right, I'm going to actually attack Rome. Dragon's there. <laughs> Declare war on Rome, yes. And I will attack them. And allies have refused. (laughs) The Eastern Roman Empire refused. (laughs) And I can actually attack them this turn. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I think this could be an auto-resolve because only four men in the settlement. 
<laughs> oh yeah, four units. Yeah, I was gonna say four men. Yeah, <laughs> four men. <laughs> you know what I mean. Four units. <laughs> so I'm just gonna auto resolve this one. Go in aggressive stance. It'd be a bit unfair to have you control just four units against yeah, three no stacks. Here we go. I think so. We might meet each other with the attacking Rome, etc. Because that's going to be our pickings, really. If you think about it. Yeah. Minus already set up um, factions. But yeah, the, the I was speaking to Dragonite earlier, and basically the news is today that there's a culture pack already going to be released on Thursday this week. Considering the game's only been out for a fucking week already. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit, a bit stupid. If you go into your diplomacy, you've got three factions which are probably next to me that you'll find. You've got the Burgundians, the Long Bardians or something, yeah. and Alamans. The Alamans, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so they're the three factions you can play as. Basically just Germanic Factions or long beards, as the DLC is called. <laughs> long beards. Stupid, absolutely stupid. And considering like the Vikings are literally just north of the where that is, anyways, you can play as all three them factions. Now you can play as another three factions next to the Franks and the Saxons. So they're all pretty much one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight factions, which are roughly going to have the same kind of units. Yeah, fucking it stupid. It does take the piss a little bit, doesn't it? Especially yeah. in week one. And it should have been in the game anyways. Yeah. So. Just going to play like, some diplomacy. Because you can understand the Viking forefathers a little bit. It's still bullshit behaviour, but it, if you're going to pre-order the game, it's free. It's for it's the people that later on I feel sorry for, because they have to, they're having to pay £5 just for them three factions. Yeah. And obviously, we already got it because we pre-ordered the game, but it's just stupid. It is stupid. Right, I think I'm probably at my end of turn phase. Just going to double check my offices and stuff. Um, have you have you worked out how to use all this stuff at the moment? A little bit. The only thing <laughs> I saw on the stream the other day, you can actually get a, a brother and sister to marry, so be ancestral. The only thing I realised, uh, which I could do, I could I divorced some of the women because they were giving bad traits to the generals. Yeah. And then once they got enough influence, you have to have 20 influence for them to seek another wife. Or you can do other actions. So I was doing that, and then obviously wait till there's a wife that brought good traits. So that helps. You get influence and other things. The only thing I didn't understand too much, I kept on getting the general uh, earlier. His loyalty kept on waning, and I didn't know why he was doing it. Alright. <laughs> but you can, like, you could do things again. You'd have to spend influence to get it. But you can do things to help, like secure their loyalty with other people and stuff. It's like a, it's this. This is a little bit more in depth version of like secure promotion on the uh, Rome too. But obviously, you can do it with certain members and other things like that. Yeah. There we go. End of turn. Your turn. Okay. Cool. There we go. So first things first is do research. I've actually noticed something which is missing from the co-op, which was on the yesterday when I was recording. Do you remember the red, blue, and green pens you can draw with? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is a that's the Twitch feature. Yeah, but you can do it on a co-op, but you can't on versus by the looks of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do it yesterday. It's weird. Yeah, there's, there's no point of increasing these, is there? Okay. Just realise how close you are to me. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, that's why we're going to have to pick up and go. Another thing, so how do you find out the uh, stats of the units and stuff as well? Because you've got the thing that comes up on the left-hand side, but I don't know. Unless you do the right-click yeah. in Encyclopedia, that's the only way I can find to do it. That's what I Cause do. Because before, before, you used to get it where it's... Um, Left kick to select, right kick for further information. You used to be able to do it another way, and it'd come up on the left hand side. Oh, I found it, oh, you just kick on that plus button. What an idiot. <laughs> so, what's better, these ones or 32? These ones are better. Okay. Let's get rid of that guy then. So, they have having a family tree again, isn't it? A hell of a lot better. 
Because they're illegitimate children already, though. It's the only annoying thing. <laughs> Dirty bastards. Dirty bastards. Yeah, because I've only got them up to the elders at the moment. Because obviously you've got to leave them in office as a companion at the bottom, and then they come eld on them further and further. You get more uh, traits and stuff, but you have to again, it costs you more infants, so you need to them to be pretty good with stuff like that. I can make someone an, an heir as well from of the guy that I've got. Uh, I've got a guy which has got ten loyalty, so obviously you're going to make him the uh, next king if the, my king obviously dies. Yeah. Uh, we've got another dude here who needs a wife, but we can't do that yet. We need to get more control, so that's that. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a battle here. I'm probably going to be attacking Canva Dunham. Oh, lovely. If I get a chance. Not yet, because that'll be on the next turn. Uh, diplomacy. Angles. <laughs> I'm trolling really badly by you. <laughs> I'm up to mischief. <laughs> what are you doing already then? I'm going to ask for some, <laughs> some trade with um, this guy. Oh, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well get some uh, cheap income at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, so th these are the guys that you can get. Langobards, Alamans, and... I forgot what the other one was now. But you can't see them, but they're probably over here on this side. Okay, that's that. I think that is going to be my turn. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to sign a provisional governor. Even though that province is going to be going up in smoke soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. I can't wait till you see where I've renamed my armies. <laughs> <laughs> I That's the thing, I, I should be able to click over him, your armies, if I can see him, can't I? Yeah. <laughs> I did this in the co-op yesterday. I called one of my armies the pricks, but <laughs> but Creative Assembly won't let you swear, so it's spelled P-R-I-C-S. <laughs> and then um, I had an event message pop up for trespassing, and it said pricks trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Right, um... Trade negotiated with the Saxons. I've encountered the Vandals, so we'll have a quick, quick look at diplomacy, see what we can do with them. They don't like me for some reason. Probably culture or something. Right, let's go and raid um, some Roman lands, I think. Let's go march in this way. Get my navy to come out. I may actually send my navy to help you at Camelodonum. Although it's a versus <laughs> campaign, so... <laughs> it's that, up to you, mate. But would that work? It no. goes, it goes against it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Why should I help you? Let's move this uh, navy down here. Uh, I'll do. But they, I think there's a Roman land here somewhere, so we're just gonna go there. Send all my armies this way. Can't really move that far. Really disappointing. I don't want to go into double time in case I get ambushed or something. Um, one more turn until I can get my level up. I found it is easy to get caught out, and I've been caught out already with uh, the Gates campaign that I'm doing. I yeah. got uh, absolutely massacred by the Romans. My ex it is really weird though, because every single campaign I've seen of uh, people landing in England Whoa. against Rome. No, there's no forces at all. Me, I have three or four small forces, about five or six uh, units, all come at me at once. I flee, it, obviously, the first time because it was overwhelming odds, and they caught me right on the um, sitting on the beach, basically, and killed me. <laughs> yeah. But any other campaign, they have no forces in England at all. But no, for me, dirty bastards. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe out the Romans, I think. Um... I think I'll probably do for this turn then. Oh, actually, no. It was something I wanted to do. I've changed my uh, army names as well, by the way. Oh, let's have a look. The Riders of Rohan. <laughs> and what's this one? The Sweaty Spines. <laughs> <laughs> How's he changed the um, uh, settlement name? If you click onto the oh, settlement. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Got it? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, I don't think it'll take effect until the end of turn. I don't think I'm done, so let's click end turn. Nice okay. quick one. Okay, uh, who's got more influence on this one? I got minus influence for my faction leader, so this guy can get more increase. One thing I noticed as well, fair enough you want more influence for your leaders, but you don't want MP to get too powerful, because in case there's ever um, a rebellion, obviously they're more likely to run off, and then you're going to have to fight them, so yeah. always try and decrease them a little bit. Kassam <laughs> 187 Cesspit. <laughs> Uh, trait for the faction encountered the Vandals. Okay, so it should be a battle now oh. against Canon Dunham. So I'll be against me, I think. Oh shit, maybe not them. What's going on? It's not in my favour at all. Oh good, I like that. So we're obviously not going to do that. <laughs> That's a good thing with these versus campaigns, it's, it's not like you're against the AI, it's, you kind of have to be really wary of the other player. So with that, could you obviously say no to retreat and not have to do the battle? I'm not sure, I think... I th I'm not quite sure. Um, I know in co-op, you you choose spectate and then the other player can gift, gift you units, but in a versus campaign I think I automatically... I either automatically take control of the AI army, or I have a choice to spectate and then take on your units. So it's, it gives you a choice, basically, of what you want to do. Mm. But Saxons don't really have any good units, first of all, so pretty shite. Hey guys, your turn now. Oh, maybe not, it's the um, enemy's turn. Yeah. Yeah, because I know you can spectate and uh, all that kind of jazz and then do the battles, but... I'd didn't realise with that though. No. You, uh, this is all new to me though, it's completely you new, know, so I have to get used to it. Yeah, and me. Right, here we go, my turn. I'm gonna move my navy this way, I think. I'm gonna be really sneaky. This is a good thing, like, for people who's watching this right now. They could be watching both our campaigns on two monitors. And yes. Mm. You can see pretty much what I'm planning. And obviously you can't, so that makes it good for me. Oh, uh, don't worry, I'll be watching your videos. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky devil. <laughs> oh my god. One step forward, two step back. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to fight this one. This is another auto resolve because they only got four units. Again, I'm going to fight aggressively. There we go, nice easy win. Kick to the bollocks, and he's down. Decisive. Exactly. That's the thing, you're going to have to uproot soon anyways, because you're public order. <laughs> I'm raising everything though. I'm just going to burn the, burn Europe to a crisp. I think that's quite fun. So we're going to raise the settlement as well. <laughs> I'm the French version of Huns. <laughs> the Frank. Oh shit, you've already, oh, I can actually see your devastation already. You've got quite far. Yeah. <laughs> You're at um, Duro Quarterum or something like that. Is that the name of it? Well, Province Belgica. It's not there anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it, that's what it was. It got nuked. Got nuked. Got some upgrades for my generals, which is cool. And my army. I haven't really checked out many of these um, trees. we just kind of pick them randomly. I'm going to have to sit down at one point and actually study them because I'm just clicking things randomly at the moment. What, is in the family tree or...? Yeah, all of it. The whole interface is just something which I haven't really paid much attention to. The, the thing that pissed me off and when I was playing as the Franks earlier, it's exactly the same, the building types, if you think about it. The only thing is now you get a silly picture. Yeah. So what it is. So obviously one's industry, which would be the uh, the blacky grey ones in Rome two. Uh green's obviously food, blues the ports and stuff like that, etc etc. But you have to have um for you guys, if you actually stayed there, if you're doing a normal campaign, 
you have to get make sure you get a yellow building there for public order because that's what you're going to suffer from and you haven't got province capital so you need to expand you either take out the saxons or like i did i took out the uh, the jutes then the geats and someone else who took over hafan basically i took all of uh, denmark and scandinavia over yeah while still having the dragons there where you've got now so I still haven't taken out Saxons or the Angles, so I need to expand in that direction to get the full province. There you go, it's my turn. Yeah. Development. Have you noticed the battle icons? When you select one unit and you hover the cursor over an enemy unit, it gives you either a little red kind of triangle or a little green triangle? No, I haven't noticed that. I only noticed it yesterday because Lord Rex also told me about it. Basically, it tells you if you're if your unit is good suited, is if your unit is suited to attacking that unit or not. So, for example, if you've got like a spearman unit, and you hover the cursor over a cavalry unit, it'll flash green. But if you've okay. got a, but if you've got a cavalry unit and you hover it over the spear unit, it'll sh it'll flash red. So, you, you, at a quick glance, you can see whether it's worth attacking that unit or not. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't notice it till yesterday. There we go. It might as well auto resolve this one. Uh, aggressive. Ba -ba -ba. Your settlement's right. a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> Don't like it. Um. We'll sack that. My god, you got a full stack already? Yep. Bloody hell. I haven't got a full stack. I barely got one stack. <laughs> yeah, but twice, it's uh, quality. You probably got quality over quantity. These guys are rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> rubbish. And I'm going to do the lovely thing of this. We're going to be migrating, guys. Oh. And I'm going to be moving southwards. We need to figure out who these guys are. Langobards. Who are they friends with? Nobody. So, let's rock and roll. <laughs> so you've actually left your cesspit? Yeah, the cesspit is no more. Well, we'll, we'll be in the next turn anyways. Um, okay. We're going to move towards this area. Again, I'm going to end turn. I want to done diplomacy. Can we get... The variants. No, not aggression. You're gonna have to watch out with your food, because once you leave that settlement, you'll probably take a big hit. Yeah, I'm I'm on forty food at the moment. Obviously, he's gonna go, he's gonna go sh up the shitter. Yeah. Uh, what I can do, I'm gonna put food onto my character, the one that just leveled up. So that's gonna give me some food at least. On my general, I get about five food. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I'm not going to be able to migrate for too long, I don't think. Plus, I'm gonna, I need to think about this uh, army stack I've got in England as well. I need to get them over with the second uh, guys. Oh, the Alamans want a defensive alliance. And I say yes, we'll do that. There we go. You're going to be attacking them, aren't you? No, they're probably too strong for me, I think. <laughs> They're just south of you. Right, my turn. Let's do some diplomacy. Do some conniving. There's a good pork roasting for you. And Damn it. Didn't work. It's quite hard to get stuff in diplomacy, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like Rome 2, though. First of all, let's give it like 10, 15 turns. No one wants a trade agreement and stuff like that. Even if you have got something to trade, they won't because they won't see you as a noteworthy opponent and stuff like that. They think you, you find you as, as a weak. Obviously, um, if you start off with like a province capital, something to trade, and about three or four settlements, they obviously see you more of a threat. Yeah. So they're more likely to do it. But it does take a while though. You just need to get like good uh, relations with people. But some stuff like that, it just takes a few turns for it to kick in but 
Why can't I? Oh, I can go there. Wait, awesome. Can't change my stance though. Oh, I can. Fortify. Right, fortify there. Actually, could I reach? Oh, I could reach there. But it's probably got a lot of men. I want to have both armies there, so I'm gonna fortify here. I'm making sure not to, not to give anything away. Yeah. That's the probably the, one of the best parts because. If I if I say like a, like Rome or something, then you know where I am. So I'm just gonna kind of say like. Well, if you keep if you keep desolating every single region you go through, I'm gonna just follow that. <laughs> <laughs> just just follow a trail of burning villages until you find me. <laughs> yeah. Um, can't recruit anything. Right, I'm actually gonna leave my settlement now as well. So, um, how do we do this? Oh yeah, abandon settlement on the next turn. Um, yes. Like my food's already gone down from 40 to 26, but that's because we're in winter time, so this is not going to be a good time to go. But over, it's done now. Yeah, mine's gone to zero. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to end the turn there. Okay, we see the explosions. Come on. Let's move out of the way. Nope, I can see all explosions. Nuclear explosions. I've still got 65 food. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Have you got 65 food? I got nothing. <laughs> That is weird, but obviously I'm getting pissing people off now because oh I haven't got any traders well, so that's cut up my money. Oh shit! I've got the uh, the vandals in my sights. We are now hoard. Okay, so I can't do anything now. I might actually put myself in hoard mode. Let's attack this. Hmm. We're actually going to do this as a battle, this one. Oh, okay then. Oh, you're all... Oh, I can see where you are now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, I mean, no. Um, oh, your force is quite depleted. Yeah, it's because uh, I, I can't replenish because I'm not in my lands. Alright, so it, it gives you the option. Um, it's got spectate, so I can be on your side. Or it's got players AI, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, cool. 420 men. Our first ever online battle. Exactly. I've got the worst units ever, though. But obviously, I've got strength for numbers. Yeah. Your general's got, like, half his health. Don't worry, he won't be close to you to be hit. <laughs> my, my, my number one aim in this battle is just to kill your general. Yeah. Because it's Rome, I don't really give a shit if I, if I lose or not. It's just, like, trying to do as much damage to you as possible. You think that like you want them to lose as well? You want both. Well, the idea is to get me to lose, but you don't care if they die in the process. So you can yeah. get two birds, one stone. But yeah, they start off with really shit units, Saxons. They have multiple units to to buy, but they're cheap and ineffective, really. Yeah. The Franks seem to be uh, similar to a certain degree, but I, you'll find you have better cavalry units with the Franks compared to the Saxons. That's why I wanted to play as them. <laughs> they're not a bad faction, actually. Doing it on the live stream earlier, uh, that's why I thought oh, I'll try another faction and see what they're like. Yeah. I think everybody's tried probably either the Saxons or the Western Roman Empire as well, haven't they? Yeah. They're, they're... Or they're doing campaigns as them. <laughs> yeah. As we are, both of us are doing uh, some of them. I think the interesting one for me was like the Visigoths, but again, I'm not too sure of all the functions for the migraine horde thing, but yeah. I'm starting to get used to it a little bit now. It's funny. So again, it's funny how it worked out though, because like you had voting videos, and I had a voting video, but yet everybody's kind of voted for the same thing. It's the same with the other people that are doing campaigns as well. Yeah, but even like the uh, bigger like YouTube is like uh, you've got like, ten, twelve thousand, or a hundred thousand like Lionel, or whoever it is, they all seem to get the same kind of thing. Like Huns, Huns is a guarantee. Saxons is a guarantee. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, we've got quite a few towers in this as well. Oh, Jesus. Wow. I like the look of this battlefield. Right, they're going to put units there. They can just stay there and I'm ready to start the battle straight away. And I'll wipe you out, hopefully. Or die trying. Get rich or die trying. <laughs> the worst part is I don't know where you are, so... Oh, shite, they do now. Oh, I can still move. That's cool, I can still move my men back even though you're... Can you see my men? Nope. I can actually see where you're deploying. And I can actually change my men's deployment position as you de change yours. 
It's almost like I'm cheating. Oh, shite, we started now. The odds are against us. We are outnumbered. Right then. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you move your general back. I can't make it easy for you. Same here. Towers are really overpowered, aren't they? Yeah. Hopefully they nerf him a little bit. Yeah, I mean. Because uh, I had a battle earlier against the Rugians, and they had two full army stacks, so I had one, and they just absolutely got destroyed. Like, ridiculously, because of the towers. Yeah. It's like, uh, they lost so many units for basically the sake of it. But... And they take a while to take down from the flame arrows as well. From my guys. Yeah. I really enjoy the multiplayer though, it's something which I've wanted to do for a long time and since starting it with you and with Lord Rex, so it really kind of opened my eyes to how how much better Total War games can be when they, you play them with somebody else. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So, well, same with the multiplayer battles as well. Obviously, there's, it's, it's different kettle fish compared to a campaign, but, you know, it's still got the, the cool elements to it. Yeah. So you can either do it like this, talking to each other, or, or literally you be quiet and it, you take it seriously, fighting against each other. Like comparatively, is it all that fire damage is done? About f done five percent damage on that tower with them arrows. Ridiculous. <laughs> and like you probably killed like stupid amount of my guys. Probably. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Bringing the swordsman forward. I see. I have to be very careful how I do this. Right, that's what I want. This is going quite well for me so far. Time to move. Oh shite, wrong button. Oops, wrong button. That's good, that's good. That is perfect though. Oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> I like how quiet you've gone, you must be concentrating. No, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, shite. Good volley. There you go. I'm trying to avoid that volley. Shit, those bloody bows are so overpowered. Here we go. Hit you in the charge. Can't see my cavalry staying here. That's good enough for me, though. Got rid of the initial men. They'll be back, they'll be back. Oh, they won't. <laughs> My cavalry's gone anyway. Okay. Right. My general is okay at the moment. Time for the master plan to take fruition. What do you have? Oh, it's perfect. Perfect door. Right, this is going well for me, I think. I wish my general had some abilities like fear effect or something. He's just a standard kind of general, he's not really anything special. He was my guy, he's, I think all he's got is um, raised banner. Oh no, he's got raised banner. My bad. Hey, look at me pushing you back. <laughs> it's that fucking tower though, I can't even get past it. I know, that's what I've done on purpose. <laughs> I think change of plan. 
I'm actually caked in your skirmishers as well. It's going very well so far. That tower is just so overpowered. Ridiculous, yeah, we've heard. I don't know what we're going to do here. What I was originally doing. I wish I had my cavalry again. Holy shit, you should, damn it. Well, that's okay, it doesn't make, make make much of a difference actually. Uh, it should have done that early to be honest, I was doing it, but let's carry on doing it. I can fall back, it doesn't matter. It actually suits me very well at the moment. This is a, bit, a little bit like the, the Twitch streams from uh, Dogbert. <laughs> Do you remember when he was like pulling everything back from one segment of the building to the the next segment, and he was using his archery towers to do all the. Oh, the hard work. Yeah. I can't go over many of your men. have actually routed. Even your generals down to fifty three men. It's in fucking towers there, man. <laughs> OP, OP. That's what, what damage we've done to the settlement. Why totally it's been destroyed? Okay. 1% settlement damage. <laughs> <laughs> Send them there. So you got two ones. They haven't taken any, hardly any damage to your troops as well. No. Oh, you have got the battle lines on it. Look. Battle lines. Yeah, they're on the top. All oh, right. Oh, that's good. 291 men that I have left, and you have 735. Really? So, yeah. I still got enough towers to do this. The good thing is, the towers actually overlap, so once you get into my settlement, probably two of the towers can start firing upon you straight away. That's why I'm going to take over this one. But you've got to take the settlement to win the battle. <laughs> Yeah, as long as I can take that point in the middle, it's fine. The others shouldn't get me. Minus that one. Let's take this one out though. Well, I'm still having enough ammunition to do so. 7% fire damage on the tower. And they're still shooting at you, which is good. That's the thing, they need to make these go down a little bit quicker, I think, cause the towers. Yeah. At least there's no kind of burning the gates thing. Oh yeah, before. That was ridiculous. Yeah, it's not, it's not like Rome 2. That would take forever to do that as well. Oh, I know. I've got this urge to go up and charge you, but I know I shouldn't. So on um, 21, God, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> uh, it's been on fast forward, so I can take that out. All right. Before they take you out. I'm gonna run out of ammunition before I take it out. Anyways, Jesus Christ. <laughs> nah, I think I'll be able to do it in time. I think this is GG in it already. Yeah, I think so. Saying that, where is it? Are you out of ammunition? 
there's no point in fighting this as well as we keep my forces, so I'm going to withdraw. <laughs> I've sent you packing. <laughs> you could probably beat me. Nah, there's no point. I'm probably going to. I've got any, any ammunition, uh, ammunition left. <laughs> the units are shit, anyways, and then towers is ridiculously OP. I should have focus fired on that first one and then I could have sent all my guys in. Like I was doing, but obviously, do you know that? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bit more money now though, because obviously I lost a few units with this, so. Yeah. I think that counts as 1 0 to me. Yeah, 1 0, 1 0. <laughs> should have um, like a score on the screen or something. <laughs> have, have our subscribers. Have like Team Dragonheart and Team Kassam 187. <laughs> I probably won't have a lot of people on my team. They're probably. <laughs> <laughs> Not by the end of it. You know, tactical withdrawal. Yeah. This is a shameful display. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, in general. Stop being so slow. Draw. Let's see what the losses are. Oh my god. 129. 512 I killed. Yeah, some of my guys didn't even get any bloody kills. Skirmish has got the most. That's crazy. Obviously, that's against the horse unit though. Yeah. The other guys didn't take any damage. So let's actually see how many kills you got. 23, 82, 38, 3. So about 200. It's not too bad. Yeah, but look how many losses I've got. So about 300 of them kills in the towers. That's ridiculous. Over above half of my losses are from due to the towers, not even from yourself. <laughs> 280. Yeah, roughly about that. Maybe they will get... <laughs> they'll tone him down a little bit but then yeah. again it's the same thing if you've got your own settlement then you just use it against the enemy as well so swings and roundabouts yeah but unless you're the Huns the only way you can use it is if you've got a, a fort I haven't played as the Huns yet it's, I don't know if it appeals to me or not though because like, you can't you can never settle obviously you've got your campment so you can increase them and stuff like that I don't know yeah. Bit of a weird concept, but I think playing as the Visigoths will probably get me to get used to it a little bit. Probably. See what we lost. All right. Four units. The rest we can run off with. I uh, killed one of yours. That's okay. Well, killed one of the Romans, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Let's move out. No, didn't click on that. Wrong button. Didn't mean, didn't mean to click on that one. What are you doing, man? Jesus. <laughs> okay. Let's change the stance to... We can't actually do that. Okay, cool. And turn. Um, hey. I think we'll do one more turn. And yeah. we we'll end the part there. Yep, one more turn each. Yeah, turn each. Because we need to get ourselves in kind of like a stance for encampment mode and migratory and all that kind of stuff. And then... But so far, I've lost the battle. <laughs> so... <laughs> The thing, I think the thing with the Saxons, though, especially very um, beginning of the game, they just don't have any units to do with stuff. Oh. Are you being attacked now? No, it's the Western Roman Empire, I think. Oh, they're attacking me? I don't know. They haven't gone to me yet, so I'm assuming they're going for you. Yeah, they're going for me. <laughs> Let's retreat from that. I'm not going to be able to deal with that. Oh, oh, this is good. This is very nice. I'll have an alliance with you and money. Thank you. That'll come in useful. Who did you get alliance with? Not saying. <laughs> <laughs> what? Adamans are demanding a thousand money off me. 
<laughs> they're my aggression packs. They're my allies, they are. They can piss off. <laughs> 900, I just do that. I've got non aggression pack with them, so. Yeah. I've got money. Where hey. And my settlement has gone kaboom. Oh, well, there's just birth, that's not good. My Imperium's gone up as well, too impressive. Probably all the places that I've destroyed. Right. Oh. Oh. I can actually see you. And it is actually half tempting to attack you. <laughs> like, actually, no, I can't reach. That's a shame. Okay, I'll skip that for now. I'm actually going to attack you instead. And we have a battle. And I'm going to auto-resolve this one because there's no point in fighting it. I'm going to go for an aggressive stance. And I'm actually going to be relocating here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my forces together. <laughs> so I've actually migrated. And, oh, what do I want to do? I want to... A good thing with uh, being in migrating uh, thing now, if I get this guy encamped, the one who's lost some troops, I can obviously replenish him as well, and obviously yeah. build some more, so it's not a bad thing, but being in the Western Roman Empire lands, I'm very vulnerable to attack, see anything. I just got attacked by t two of their guys uh, near the Alamans, so I need yeah. to obviously get out of that area. They're so weak though, so bloody weak. Right, upgrade these, perfect. Oh my god, I got to rechange uh, re change change that. Convert. Do I convert? Oh I can't afford that. Oh my god, right, we're gonna repair that in that case. I can barely afford all of this, but it might be worth it in the long run. Yeah, so did you get that as well then? My one of my hordes I had to up like repair stuff before I could do anything. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm gonna get some more ships I think. Cause I'm gonna need them. And I'm going to be probably attacking Londinium. See how close I am to you? <laughs> oh my god, uh, the doors are open. Auto resolve. Oh, I can't resolve. It's a siege. Shit. Um, that's okay. Fanny and dicks. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for the second one to come up. Boobies and pie. I can't even see him. Hang on. I can see Fanny. I can see Fanny's and dicks. I can't see. Because <laughs> <laughs> Sam can see Fanny's and dicks, people. Dicks. Right. I think that's a very good turn. I've taken my first settlement, and I'm going to take my second. I think you've got some catching up to do. <laughs> Definitely. I need to get out of here. I need to get both my forces together. Yeah. Right. I'm going to end my turn. So it's your turn next, and then we'll probably wrap up the first yeah. episode. Cool. Oop, I got to assign a governor. Shit. I'm going to do that quickly. Um, oh, crap. How do I do this? Ah, right. Oh, so you managed to... Oh, you're just taking wells. Okay, yeah. I didn't know he was all the way up there. Yeah. That was my plan. So now you've got the homeland already. Yep, that was my plan all along. <laughs> That's why I said you'll have a surprise when when you see me, and then I didn't realise you were actually fighting in Corinium. So you were, you were just south of me, but I couldn't see you. So you moved all the way from uh, France to over there quickly then? Did you, did you sail around then, I'd assume? Yeah, I used the navy to take out um, the settlement that was just south of me in Belgium, and then I basically sailed across the channel just with the navy. Fortunately for me, they had nothing in Wales, so I could just take it straight away. So it's a bit sneaky. Um, I gotta do an edict. Oh shit! Wrong button. Um, we want. Oh my god! We need to get some public order, probably. Um, yeah, we we'll go for public order. I'll do. End turn. Okay, I think I've got a rough idea what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Just stay away from my army. <laughs> That is the plan. Um, you could rename one of your armies after the one of the historical Viking armies. 
the great heathen army. Well, that's what I'm trying to do with the Geats. I'm going to do historical names and obviously the, the names from the TV shows. So yeah, Cause that's, what, that's what they were, they were actually called in history, the great heathen army. Faction destroyed the Varians. Ooh. Who have you got here? Everyone else is too too strong to attack straight away, though. Yeah. Saxons and Alamans, no aggression pact negotiated, that's what we've done before. We're trespassing. We're pissing people off, though, at the moment, because I'm trespassing in their lands. <laughs> I don't give a shit. We need to resettle first. Okay, I'm pretty much going to be done on that one. Okay. And research is ready. I'm not settled yet, but I will be in the next part. I'm going to try and get somewhere while moving my forces up and then try and attack. I'm going to retreat from England. Yeah. Because that didn't go too well, did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you pretty much set up camp there in England at the moment or well. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this part. Obviously, I got crushed already, so this is not boding well for me at the moment, but I will obviously regain my... <laughs> where my where my guys are and we're gonna try and set up camp in the part two.